These fashion trends are out in 2023. Apparently, we're going to be doing a little bit of a deep dive into an article written by Elle Australia about the fashion trends uh, that are in and out this year. And we're going to have a quick look through, see if I agree. I saw Alexa Sunshine 83 do this video about a year ago. And funnily enough, it was also Elle Australia's article that she'd seen and decided to kind of go through and do the same thing. So I stumbled across their 2023 version and I thought, I also would like to put my two cents. So Alexa's video will be down below, as will be the link to uh, the article that we're going through. Obviously this is coming from me, no fashion degree, no um, formal fashion training or anything, just me and my thoughts from being on the internet for too long. The fashion trend cycle in general at the moment is kind of all over the place, to the point that it feels a bit broken, because there are so many trends that like actually nothing is a trend, or everything's in style and nothing's in style at the same time. It's all over the place, and I really think that that can down to the amount of access that we have to see all these things on social media. I don't think we should all be following the same trends. I personally like to take inspiration from new trends. They give me a little bit of an opportunity to push my boundaries or try something different every once in a while. But the fact that we all like different things is why fashion is fun. Let's jump into uh, the first trend that apparently shock horror is the worst. Starting off with, oh, out, psychedelic prints. The avant basic as aesthetic took over our wardrobes and homes for a hot minute however in 2023 we're adopting grungier prints i would agree a little bit with this and i think that this really comes down to it was almost a leftover of our love for tie-dye uh during lockdown many people turned to tie-dye and pretzling their wet t-shirts in such a way with rubber bands such as swirls i don't know i've actually never tie-dyed shock but I really think it was almost a residual of that. Psychedelic prints, are they out? I would maybe agree with that a little bit more. And they've said here that abstract prints are what's taking their place. Um, I think I would agree with this. It's sort of a little bit darker, a little bit grungier. Okay, I have no beef with this, fine. By the way, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I've had videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head down the subscribe button on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Okay, right, the next one, out, chain belts, how very dare you. Chain belts to me are never out. Chain belts to me are always just a lovely little cherry on top of a look. I feel like we always associate them with like 90s Chanel shows, slung around the waist, jingle jangling, fun. I actually wish that we did chain belts more. I wouldn't actually say they're out. What's the reasoning? As fun as they look, this Y2K trend is not the most comfortable or office friendly look to pull off. I disagree. I disagree heavily. And what is it instead? Layered belts. This I am seeing a lot more of. Is it something that I would do? No, to me it just is like one more thing to think about. You know, when I'm just like, oh gosh, I've already got one belt, do I need another? Functional, maybe, cool completely, get ready to see a lot more belt experimentation 2023. I think it has to do with that sort of grunge, Tumblr-esque look. When I think of layered belts, I do think of more like 80s, like Michael Jackson outfit sort of thing. Right, out slime green. I will say we're seeing less of it, right? I would say 2021, 2022 was really the, the year of green. Are we seeing less of it? Yes, but I would still say we're seeing it to a certain extent. If I'm thinking of something like Fendi Spring Summer 2022 show, a more neon-y green was seen in that. Actually, yeah, maybe we're seeing a little bit more neons. There was Sport Max, that wasn't green, but it was yellow. Cassie, that's not the same thing. I feel like we are still seeing green, but in different ways. Valentino, darker green. Okay, so maybe not a slime sort of bottega green that we're used to but green in general out cargo pants no <gasps> no i think that this is very wrong right because we're seeing cargo pants so much in the catwalks for spring summer 2023 we have versace doing these fendi's got loads of these in silk who else is doing them dion lee everybody's got a solid cargo pant coming out yes okay so i think that this is this is wrong the gorp core i don't even know what that is gorp core Named after the colloquial term for trail mix, good old raisins and peanuts, gorp, is a style focused around wearing utilitarian, functional, outdoor-inspired gear. 
still very much disagree that cargoes are out because cargoes are hugely in. I mean, we just saw the Attico fern cargo trousers taking off towards the end of last year. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Kilt skirts. Okay, so the picture they've chosen here is a Chipova Luena. We're seeing a lot of that brand in general. I don't know if I've seen many other brands. Who else is doing? I mean, obviously I haven't seen everything. I don't think really that that's a huge, huge trend, uh, but fine. In big slouchy bags, yes, BBE, big bag energy, we know this. And specifically with slouch, I think structured bags are really, the trends at the moment are sort of medium to small size, and then the big ones tend to have a bit more of a slouchy look. Givenchy, spring summer 2023. That is the big bag trend that they are really pushing. Okay, I agree. I don't have any beef. What are you saying here? It makes sense that our taste would skew large. Small, smaller bags just don't fit all the necessities we require in the modern world. Right, water bottle, fine. Sanitizer, yes. Wellness journal? Who is taking their wellness journal with them to run their... Re what? Out, baguette bags. With who, who, who do I write a strongly worded letter to? Abs are they out of style? Maybe not, but we're definitely anticipating to see the style less in 2023 in favour of roomier bags. I think both are happening at the same time. Baguette bags in general, this shoulder bag moment we are seeing so much of. Jacques Mousse, Le Bisou. It's a tiny little shoulder bag. Everybody's doing their version of this. More examples shall be here to back up my point. I will go to battle for this. First of all, baguette bags are never out of style. And second of all, there's so many more, so many of them coming. Out, leather blazers. The clean cut blazer spurred by 90s boom got us through a lot of nights out, but their time is coming to a close with biker jackets. This I think I agree with. Blazers in general, oversized blazers, we really have been loving, especially like I really think the Frankie Shop one is the one that has been the most favoured. And I think for the last sort of year and a half, that's really ruled when it's come to a blazer, right? We know that the more tailored sort of Balmain looking blazer has been a little bit on the back burner in, in, in place of something a bit more oversized. But biker jackets, yes. I think moto in general for 2023 is big. So that makes sense to me. Out, cowboy boots, both lauded and loathed by TikTok as the footwear choice for Gen Z. This 2022 staple is on its way out for 2023. I don't know. This one I actually like, I haven't seen enough either way to comment on. In ballet flats, this one we know. We know and agreed. Worn with socks, legs, leg warmers, or with nothing at all. With nothing at all, sorry. It's the trend set to uh, to earn staple status. Okay, fine. Right, next one, out, barbiecore. <gasps> but Pantone says Viva the Magenta is the color of 2023. Valentino really carried that trend, let's not lie. Truly actually an impressive feat done by Valentino because every time you see that color, your mind goes, is it Valentino? We'll still see quite a lot of pink, I think, but not the same as last year. Right, in, shades of gray, oh. With preppy aesthetics making their way into our wardrobes, greys of all shades been high on our radars. Okay. This one I believe, this one I, I have no rebuttal. Out, lug sole shoes. While we still love, am, oh, typo. Absurdly chunky shoe. The lug sole has been thoroughly overdone on our feeds. To a certain extent, but then also is that just a more seasonal thing? So like, when autumn, winter comes back again, the lug sole is going to be out. Mm, I don't know, maybe because I really do think we are seeing that chunk, that bump. Actually, no, no, no. Rebuttal. Really chunky sort of boots, I think, for 2023 are still going to be happening. The Paco Rabanne show, all of the shoes were these huge, chunky, you know, boots. So mm, maybe just not in the ways that we've seen before, a la Bottega lug boot sort of thing. Right, who else do we have? In, sheer everything, yes, we know this one. Agreed, out, higher than high platforms. I'm gonna take this one as a personal attack. Impracticality certainly has its place in fashion, but these ankle breakers were a short-lived fad at best. Lies, while they look fab in a photo, the reality of wearing platforms never made them worth the investment. How very, speak, speak for yourself. Also, no, I still think they were seeing a lot of platforms on runways. I still think they very much have a place. In itty bitty heels. Maybe it's because they're just much more comfortable, but we're leaning way more towards these down to earth footwear styles. Okay, interesting there. 
Once again, I come from a completely unqualified background. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are. And in the words of my father... If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.